Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss with you how uh, actually competitive reversible inhibitors work and how they affect the enzymatic key parameters like Vmax, Vmax over Km and Km. Now we know that a competitive inhibitor can only interact with the free enzyme. So if we've got our scheme here, enzyme plus substrate gives us an enzyme substrate complex and that gives us enzyme plus product. The inhibitor can only interact with this free enzyme here. So here we would have the inhibitor and this forms a reversible enzyme inhibitor complex. Now let's try to figure out what happens under which conditions is this inhibitor very effective. Now first of all for the inhibitor to be effective we would want a lot of the enzyme in the free enzyme state. So if the enzyme is in this state the inhibitor can bind. If the enzyme is in the ES state the inhibitor cannot bind because it can only interact with the free enzyme. So under which conditions is the enzyme in this state? Well, in this case, for a lot of free enzyme to be around, what we want to have is the substrate concentration. The substrate concentration must be fairly low and I abbreviate it like that. So substrate concentration low and the consequence is that the inhibitor inhibitor works very well. Or in other words if the substrate concentration is high substrate concentration is high the inhibitor doesn't work inhibitor does not work. How can we understand that? Okay, let's assume we have here our substrate and now we add an inhibitor. Let's put it this here. So it is a 50-50 chance that the enzyme either grabs the substrate or the inhibitor. But what would happen if I add more substrate to it? I add more substrate. I add more and more substrate. In this case, well, the chance for the enzyme to grab a substrate is much higher now. So it would not probably easily grab find the inhibitor but it takes the substrate. So the higher the substrate concentration the less efficient the inhibitor. So what is the consequence of a competitive inhibitor on the three key enzyme parameters? Well we know that the inhibitor doesn't work at very high substrate concentrations. Now what is the key parameter that tells us how the enzyme behaves at very high substrate concentrations? Well, that is Vmax. So let's uh, make a little list and say, right, here it is without the inhibitor and here it is with the competitive inhibitor. And if we look at Vmax, we will find that uh, with the inhibitor, well, Vmax is Vmax. That's without the inhibitor. And with the inhibitor, it doesn't matter whether there is a, an inhibitor if there is lots of substrate. So we can basically ignore the inhibitor. And we can say Vmax in the presence of the inhibitor. And we uh, indicate that with an up here, which stands for apparent. And this usually indicates that there is an inhibitor present. So Vmax with the inhibitor is the same as Vmax without the inhibitor. 
Right, now let's have a look at our next parameter. This is Vmax over Km. And this tells us, this parameter tells us how the enzyme behaves at very low substrate concentrations. And we said at very low substrate concentrations, the inhibitor is very active. So it will reduce Vmax over Km. So we have Vmax over Km. That's the one for uh, our situation without the inhibitor. And now, when we have the inhibitor present, Vmax, and we probably need to indicate that by Vmax app over Km app. So this is how the enzyme behaves at very low substrate concentrations in the presence of the inhibitor we will find that this one is reduced if we compare it to Vmax over Km without the inhibitor. And our last parameter, our Km, well, in the present, in the absence of K uh, of an inhibitor, we would have Km. Now, how would the Km change? How would Km app change if we have an inhibitor? What would happen to the affinity? Well, of course, the affinity for the substrate would go down because the enzyme could grab some inhibitor. So the affinity goes down and therefore the value for Km would go up. So that is what happens to a competitive, uh, to, to the, to the key parameters of an enzyme, Vmax, Vmax over Km and Km, if an inhibitor is present, if this is a competitive inhibitor. Very important, Vmax with or without the inhibitor does not change. Vmax over Km goes down and Km goes up. So we know that if we have an enzyme and we have a competitive inhibitor, this inhibitor works best if we have low substrate concentrations. Now, how can we make this inhibitor less active? Well, what we can do is we can increase the substrate concentration. And the more substrate we add, the less potent this inhibitor will be. So this is a way how we can overcome the inhibitory effect of a competitive inhibitor, just simply increasing the substrate concentration. This has uh, practical applications. So, for example, we have an enzyme in our body uh, that has as a substrate um, ethanol. So, if we drink some alcohol, this enzyme will be active and will be uh, used ethanol as a substrate. Methanol, however, is a competitive inhibitor of this enzyme. And very often what happens is that uh, if people make their own uh, alcohol, they brew it and uh, do all sorts of uh, fancy things with it, uh, it contains uh, quite a considerable amount of methanol. And what happens then is that when you have methanol with ethanol, which you can uh, nicely consume, if you have both together, methanol will inhibit the enzyme and therefore will lead to very toxic effects. Methanol is a very, very strong uh, poison, if you like, and it has uh, horrible side effects. So people go blind and then uh, eventually they will die. So what can you do if there is somebody with a methanol intoxication, when you see that there is a problem? Now, what you can do is you can actually outcompete this inhibitor by adding more and more and more of the natural substrate of this enzyme. So what you do actually with a patient who suffers from a methanol intoxication is you give them lots and lots of alcohol to drink because you increase the substrate level and therefore the inhibitor, the methanol, won't be active any longer. 
Now, a lot of people use that uh, to drink uh, and I usually don't buy it. So if somebody comes uh, to me and says, uh, oh, I had a methanol uh, intoxication, I had to drink lots and lots of alcohol. Well, I'm not sure if I want to believe it. So hopefully this makes sense and you understand now how competitive inhibitors affect the three key enzyme parameters. VMAX stays the same. Vmax over Km goes down and the F and Km goes up or in other words the affinity also goes down for the substrate. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.